What's up, witches, and welcome to Salem, the weirdest place on earth. My name's Joel from TwoSalem.com, and I'm gearing up for my Halloween trip to the Witch City. So since I'm planning my trip anyway, and since I'm a little burned out on all the heavy history following my list of the top five insane theories related to the Salem Witch Trials, I thought I'd do something a little more cash. Today, I will be telling you where I'm planning to grab a bite in the Witch City this year. Some are old favorites, others are new flings. They're ordered by my personal level of excitement, so grab a witch sickle, sprinkle fairy dust on your delicious viciously hairy tummy, and let's dive headlong into a vat of crony goop. What does that even mean? Ah, the lobster shanty. What can I say that I haven't said before? It's a shanty. There's lobsters. They're fresh. Beer, patio, people, lobster mac and cheese. The best Rangoon in town. Just go. It's in the middle of town. You can't miss it. And if you happen to see a raving lunatic in all black who's screaming at the top of his lungs about H.P. Lovecraft's connection to Salem, Massachusetts, well, just go ahead and introduce yourself to me and I shall bequeath you with all my witticisms. Also right in the middle of town, there's Tavern on the Square. Now this is right beside where I'm staying this year, the brand spanking new, sparkling, luscious, gorgeous Hotel Salem. Gotta tell you, I'm stupid excited for this hotel and its super cool looking rooftop bar and the incredible convenience of being able to pop right into the tavern and order the Salem Joel Special, which everybody knows is two barrels of squirrel blood, a chalice filled with malice, and a partridge in a v-neck tea. They've got pretty much everything you want at the tavern. Out of the four, I'd say it's on the pricier side, so be sure to get some money magic spell kits from Omen before you go in. Oh, look at your fancy jeans. I, I bet you got fancy shoes and, and fancy skincare products and a fancy um, purse satchel. Well, you don't even know about the fancy place called Finn's. That's right, Finn's, like fish has, Finn's, but with a Z. It's down by Salem Wharf. You can drop into this little place and get delicious foodstuffs. I like it because it's a little out of the way, so it's not super crowded all the time. It's on the water, the food's great, especially if you like seafood, and it's like, super romantic. So if you're cool and you decided to finally ask Marie, the satanic accountant, out to dinner, this is totally the place to worship death hand in hand in the demon dungeon below the restaurant and then get a great meal after. What's that? Oh, oh, okay, yeah. Uh, I'm actually being told by the two Salem lawyers that I can't officially claim there's a bloody demon dungeon below Finn's. I can't officially claim it? The Flying Saucer Company is, I think, unfairly categorized as that one pizza place with the Picard Borg statue. Accurate? Yes. The whole story? No. They also have nice bathrooms, you big dummy, and their pizza is an ever-evolving gift from the gods. And the staff? Well, they just look like I looked in my head when I was a young person, not yet saddled with student loans and disappointed with the bitterest truths about love and death and how literally everything the internet tells you that you like, it's simultaneously manipulating you to like, including this video. And what does any of it even mean? Delete your social media, join me on an ocean liner, let's start the revolution. But yeah, just top-notch bathrooms. And that's it, which is we now have a breath from all the super serious history, which I'm sure we'll get back to. Look, I am 100% going to make a best restaurants in Salem list after the holiday this year, but I have a few more that I want to sample before I put that thing together. Some other places I'm absolutely sure I will visit while I'm there, but didn't make the list for whatever reason are Gulu Gulu Cafe for the best mother crepe in crepes you've ever put in your dirty crepe mouth. Go sit in the corner and think about what you did, you filthy crepe. Pretty sure cider or hot chocolate or ice cream or a cookie will come from the old pepper company or Maria's sweet somethings. And no trip to Salem would be complete for me without at least one unique, delicious, powerful, strong, dark, and stormy from Old Main Street Pub. Cannot wait to put that in my mouth and swallow it. Don't get weird. That's all for today, witches. What you gonna be munching on this side? Uh, leave your comment below the gallows, and I'll see you next time. Stay weird, witches. Hey.